Hey there, Rob. It's Jay here at Rorick Mazda. So please don't laugh. I'm not good at making uh, sort of videos here, but I thought that this might be the most respectful of your time and kind of going over the vehicle a little bit in depth, just because as I mentioned, we had just taken this in. So it had went through the entire safety check process with all of our maintenance guidelines. It just has not went to our detail department yet. But honestly, by seeing it this manner, I think it will give you a pretty indication of how well the car was kept. Uh, now, just kind of going along a few things here, if we look at the bumper all the way down the passenger side you'll see that there's no dent stings scrapes scuffs scratches anything to that nature you'll also notice the window shades there those are Subaru factory now speaking of Subaru factory you're gonna notice that the emblem up here is sort of flat and then also up on your windshield camera one and camera two because this does have their eyesight so that's going to be everything from their collision avoidance to adaptive cruise control to pedestrian and cyclist detection a lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, and the list continues. Now, same thing going along the passenger side here. You'll see that there's no dent, sting, scuff, scrape, scratches anywhere to be found. And then you will notice that you have the mud flaps installed and kind of going along to the rear bumper here. Same thing, no dent, sting, scuff, scrape, scratches anywhere to be found here. Now, vehicle-wise, because this is the 2020, it did get some restyling, especially to the interior, as you're going to have your much bigger center stack screen that you'll see there. Uh, now, the mat-wise, these are going to be the fitted all-weather floor mats. You'll notice a little Subaru logo because they all Subaru brand, and you'll have your heavily bolstered out cloth seating here. So hopping in here, I'm just going to start up the car real quick. You'll see mileage wise, 12,969 miles. Just gonna click I agree. And then you'll see this sort of, this is their infotainment screen. You'll notice that you have like uh, some different vehicle information up at the top, like engine temperature, oil temperature, and so forth. Obviously all of your screen. Uh, down here, you'll see things for your dual climate, as well as your heated seat buttons that you'll see here, which everything is kind of conveniently located on the touchscreen with a couple physical buttons, especially over here for temperature things like your USB ports and an aux jack, your emergency brake down here, obviously your leather padded armrest. Now, of course, if I shift into reverse, you are going to see it's gonna pull up your backup camera that you'll see there. Let me just go back into park here. And then of course, if I just click that little home button, you'll see things like different apps that you can use, obviously Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard. This does have the auto start stop system to help conserve fuel stoplights, but some people asked if you can turn that off and you'll see the button is located there. Now, interior wise, you'll have your Subaru SOS assist, interior LED lights, and then you will see the auto dimming mirror with the garage door opener home link system is standard also. Of course, there's a lot more to kind of discuss, not only in here, but throughout the vehicle. But again, just wanted to give you a generalized overview so that way you can see the condition that we had taken it in. In fact, it doesn't even look like anyone sat in the passenger seat. Uh, and then that way it'll better understand not only the vehicle, but just simply because there's not a lot of photos online quite yet. But I do hope this information helps. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it and send you over the link. And I look forward to hearing back and appreciate the opportunity, Bill. Thank you again.